Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, Adams attack. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. H3 takes control of the g4 square and may prepare the g4 pawn push. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This ignores a superior technique for capturing a pawn that was posing a material danger. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. Backs off. That's good. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location allowing it to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This evades the check from the bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Backs off. It is ideal. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. This lets the opponent capture a queen to win material. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is a blunder. That queen's capture earns stuff. 
It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is incorrect. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move there. It is a miss. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is incorrect. This causes material loss. It is a mistake. This wins material. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a bad move and white is no longer in a losing position. This threatens to win a queen. It is a great move. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is brilliant. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is forced. This makes a check visible. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This avoids the bishop's check. It's compelled. This reveals a check on the opponent's king. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even.